Welcome to Get Tutorials, and in this video, I'll be doing practice problem 12.3. We're given a Y delta connection and given a line voltage VAB of 240 with an angle of negative 20 degrees. And we're given the delta impedance or the impedance per phase of the delta connection of 20 with an angle of 40 degrees, right? And we are asked to find the phase current and the line current. So for the phase current, you know that IAB is equal to VAB divided by Z delta. And what I like about the three phase analysis is you basically just have to find one value to find the others. So we're told that it's actually an ABC sequence. So this is our ABC sequence as shown in the textbook, and it, it applies for everything, whether it be line currents or phase voltages, line voltages, whatever. So it applies to everything. Once you have one value, you just either, let's say you have, for example, here we have a VAB. And if you want to find our VBC over here, you just basically subtract 120 degrees from the angle of this to find the angle of the corresponding VBC. So we can just use this one formula and use this relationship between all of the phase currents to actually find the other phase currents. So let's do that. We're given VAB. So you're just going to substitute your 240 with an angle of negative 20 degrees, uh, 20 degrees divided by the given load of the phase. And from here, you should get an IAB, which is a phase current IAB of value 12 with an angle of negative 60 degrees in amperes. Now we know that IBC is removed from this one by 120 degrees, which means it's, it's so this is IAB over here. And to find our IBC, it's subtract 120 degrees using the same magnitude of 12. Just subtract 120 degrees from that. So you have negative 180 degrees. So that is your IBC. And here, let's not forget, we're dealing with our phase currents. So this is the first part of the question, which is asking for the phase currents. And next, we are dealing with ICA, which we can situate over here. And now for this one, we have the A corresponding, or we have the phase current, which corresponds to the A position, which is that. So to find this one, you actually add 120 degrees. So we add 120 degrees to the angle of this one, which will give us 60 degrees. And therefore, ICA is 60 degrees. So we're basically done with all of our phase currents, and we can move on to the line currents. So for a wire delta connection, we know that the line currents, line currents, they lag the corresponding phase current by 30 degrees. Right? So this is what this means, and it's written in the textbook or in your notes as line current IA is equal to square root of three, which is the magnitude. Now you multiply the magnitude of IAB or the corresponding phase current by square root of three, then you subtract 30 degrees from your from this value to actually. So let's say we had an angle of zero for our phase current, then you have negative 30 degrees here. But now we have 12 over there, and we have an angle for the first one, which is IAB, you have negative 60 degrees. And we're just going to subtract 30 degrees from that. Now, this one value is going to help us. So the final value of IA would be 20.79 with an angle of negative 90 degrees in amperes. So that is your IA. From this one value, we can come back to a diagram or just to analyze this using our positive ABC sequence. So our IA is over here. To find IB, you just subtract 120 degrees from this value, and your IB is going to be 20.79. Subtract 120 degrees from that, you're going to get negative to that. 
And IC, you basically do the same thing. IC would be situated over here. And from IA, you actually add 120 degrees to find that value of IC. So that is what you basically do again. Now, adding 120 degrees to this angle, which is found over here, should give you an angle of 30 degrees. That is in amperes. You'll notice that in the textbook for this part, you have negative 150. And this could be because they actually used the reference with this angle or just to keep your angle between these values. Right? So I'm giving that to you as homework to find how they actually got that value, which is translated to this in the textbook. Because here's another way you, should, you could actually do this. So I used this as a reference, and for the first part, we have that, which means for the second part, you'd actually, to, to make sure that everything is in keeping with the 30 degree angle which lags, you can't just exactly do, do that for, for, for this or for all of them, because look, if you were actually doing this directly, you'd say negative 60, negative 30, it should give you that. Negative 180, negative 30, it should give you that. And then here you have 60, subtract 30, it should give you that. But now, if you analyze the difference between all of these in terms of this negative 30, and you move, you'd actually have 150 from that. And then from this position, you'd have 90 degrees. So here, let's say ICA, you'd have 90 degrees. So now let's analyze this again. So at this point, you'd subtract 30 degrees from your A, and here, you'd actually subtract 150 degrees, which should actually give you the same answer from A. And if you look at the value of A, adding 90 degrees to that should also give you 30. So that is another way of actually doing that. You, you move according to this, ABC sequence and make sure that everything is in keeping with that. They are removed uh, from each other by 120 degrees for everything that you actually do. But in the textbook, you'll see that they actually have an, an answer of negative 150 degrees. So just analyze that and see if you can actually get that answer or if that answer actually makes sense. If you like this video, just go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe.